how do you get to the top if you can? Let's say your sales marketing, how do you get to be the best so that people will actually value your skills and pay you more for it? Hello, Tom. Hello, this is Mexico. I know about your success, about your YouTube channel that is growing business channel in Vietnam. I am sure that you are going to be expanding and growing more and more because of your dedication, because of your ideas, and because of the high quality of this YouTube channel being used by many, many, many people. Saludos, Tomas. High income skills is something that you're really, really good at. So it could be anything. But the trick is you don't want to use your high income skill at a fixed salary position. So if you work for a company and you make, so let's say, $15 million, that's all they will pay you. Plus two months bonus or two one month bonus or whatever, plus 15 day vacation, whatever. That is not how you use a high income skill. High income skill is something that you're really good at, but you don't use it to get a fixed salary. So there's two ways for you to overcome that. One is you work for a company that pay you on result. Pay you on result. Maybe they offer you a base salary, but they also give you a bonus if you hit certain goal. For example, in my company, let's say my marketing team, uh, if they hit certain goals, let's say if they attract half a million visitors to our website, they make a billion dollars. The team gets a billion dollars. That is bonus based. That is like, Based on your skills, you get a bonus that's way more than your salary, right? That, that's one way. And the other way is to freelance, is, is to work on your own. You get paid based on results, not based on a fixed salary. I know a lot of people, they want the security. Oh, base salary more important than any bonus or commission. But that's not how you make a lot of money. If you focus more on getting the base salary, that's all you will have. What you want is you want a job that gives you somewhat of a base. That's enough to take care of your living, your house, your apartment, your food, your night out with girlfriend, you know, a base salary that should take care of that. But you also want an opportunity to make as much as you want based on the bonus policy in the company. And I know that in my company, we, we always have that for every team, especially for sales. Like my salespeople can earn upwards of 100 or 200 million dollars if they work hard at it, if they know what they're doing. High income skills is something that you're really good at. Because if you're shit, if you're not good at it, if you're, you're a terrible salesperson, or you're a terrible marketer, or you're a terrible engineer, it's not gonna work because nobody would value your skills. It only works when you have skills that nobody else has. Like you're so good at it. So you're such a great salesperson, or you're such a great marketer, you write such great content, you're such a great digital marketer. If you're a digital marketer, negotiate with your company. Let me run your digital campaigns. I take 1% of your revenue. I would prefer that over a fixed salary any day. I'm willing to take that kind of risk. Like I will put in my labor and I want to get 1% of your revenue or 10% of your profit or whatever. And that, that's how you create unlimited, no limit income. That's how you do it. And if you're in sales, then naturally you're on a commission program. When you're in sales, sell big ticket items. Don't sell credit card or candies or shoes because those are low ticket items, meaning uh, average order value is small. You're not gonna make a lot of commission on that. I am in software, like my, my deals are million dollar, two million dollars, sometimes even $10 million. We're in e-commerce. Our average order value in e-commerce can be anywhere from $500 to $10,000. And in fact, probably this month we'll have the biggest uh, order value in e-commerce in our company, maybe at $50,000, that's like one T. So those things are possible. If you work for the right company, you have the right skills. And the important thing is you gotta have the right skills and you have gotta be the top at the top of your game. If you can't do sales, you can't do marketing, you can't do shit, nobody values your skills. And if you go to your CEO and say, hey, I wanna help the company grow, I don't want too much base salary, I want more commission. What if we do a 10% of the profit? Your, your CEO is gonna just laugh out of 
You know, this is easy to know. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? You don't know shit. First of all, you gotta have the skills. Like, you gotta have a track record. You gotta be able to demonstrate that you can do it. Any CEO, any managing director, any person in the company, if you go to them and you say, you know what? I can help you grow your company 20%, 50%, 100% next year. All I want is 10% of the profit or revenue or whatever. You think they would not be interested? Of course they will. How do you get to the top of your game? Let's say you're sales, marketing. How do you get to be the best so that people will actually value your skills and pay you more for it? Uh, pay you based on results. The key here is always get paid on results, not get paid on time. I talked about this before. If you get paid on time, you're going to be poor. There's no way you're going to break the income ceiling. If they pay you uh, in a fixed salary a month, they're paying you on time. Basically, they are paying you, let's say, $10 million a month. That means probably 500K a day. That's what, what you earn, and that's fixed income. But if they pay you on result, it's based on what you can do, what you can achieve. If you have the right program, your income has no limits. As an example, my salespeople in my company, they have no income ceilings. It's really up to them how much money they want to make. But how do you develop skills that people want? It's not just sales. It could be marketing, it could be engineering, it could be product management, it even could be HR. We have in our company, HR staff that makes 60, 80 million dollars a month. That's crazy because we are commission based. If they find staff, if they find employees, if they find good employees that stay with us, they earn a bonus. We have a very generous bonus program. So our top HR people, they're making maybe sometimes even 80 million dollars a month. Crazy. And people tell me, Tom, you pay too much. You're like, dude, why do you pay so much to HR? Well. Well, my answer to that is if they get the results, you know, if they get the results, they, they're worth it. I like to pay people based on results. I don't, I don't like to pay base salary because base salary doesn't guarantee anything for me. But if I pay, pay people based on results, then they have to produce. And for people that want to get paid based on results, they're going to earn a lot more if they can deliver. Of course, if they can't deliver, that means they have to upgrade their skills. You need a, a lot of skills. and. And one way to develop those skills is inside a company. Uh, when you have a real project to work on, you can go buy a book and read it cover to cover, but it doesn't guarantee you know anything. Books sometimes are shit. Just because you read a book doesn't mean that you know much. The real experience, the real knowledge comes from actually doing, taking the fucking action, right? Taking the fucking action so that you actually acquire that skill. Every skill is acquired through experimentation by, by actually doing. What I want you to do is, like I said, get paid based on results, not get paid based on a salary. If you're on salary, then you're going to be forever poor. Forever poor. So you should find a job, you should find a position where they pay you based on results. Very few companies do that, and, and we do that. To get paid on a result. And that's how you make the big money. And that's how you can actually acquire real skills, earn real money. And maybe one day you can start your own business. What are high income skills nowadays we need? High income skills are skills that it could be any skills. It could be sales, it could be marketing, it could be product, it could be engineering. It could be HR even. It could be anything. It could be accounting, maybe. But the key is you got to be the best at what you do. You gotta be really good. If somebody comes to me and say, I can look at your company books and I can help you develop a strategy and help you save taxes, and I only want 5% of what you save. Would I be interested? Yeah, I would. I'll say, yeah, take a look. And then he does that to every company. And that's how you use your high income skill as a tax specialist to make a lot of money. Even accountants can make a lot of money. But then, to do that, you need sales skills because you got to go to the company and say, hey, you know what, I can help you save money on your taxes. And then you got to show them and convince them that you can help them do it. And when they believe, they'll say, okay, give it a try. Same in marketing, same in sales, same in any, any profession. But you got to be good. If you're shit, nobody's going to value your skill. If you're the best at that, a particular skill, now people will pay you. For it. And remember, get paid based on result, not based on time. If you get paid based on time, you'll always be poor because you have an income ceiling. Anybody get paid on time is poor. Get paid based on result.
is how you make the big moolah. If I hire a VP of sales, if I hire a head of growth for my company, and he comes in and says, Tom, I don't really need that much base salary, but I want 1% of your revenue and I help grow your business 1,000 times. Would I take that offer? I'll say, yes, do it. 1% of my revenue. And let's say if we make $25 million in the next year, a 1% is $250,000. You can buy an apartment, a nice apartment here in Ho Chi Minh City. That's how you do it. If someone comes to me, want to be my VP of sales, but all he wants is base salary, pay me uh, base salary uh, $100 million a month. Well, that's not going to get you anywhere. You'll not be poor, you'll be okay, but you'll never be rich either. 